I just keep feeling like this klaxon horn's gonna go off and it's, man, your battle stations. Maybe the war's not over just because they say it is. When I think of Louis Zamperini, I think forgiveness, hope, redemption. The first film is really about Lou's external struggle to survive, and this chapter is more about his battle for his soul. What wasn't covered in the first film was, of course, the effects of the war in the prison camp on my dad. The perseverance and the, the character that it took to, to live through that it was the nature of the first story. And this story, though, is about the consequences of that. So this story picks up after Lou returns to the States, going through the turmoil of his memories of the war, his nightmares of Watanabe. He had post-traumatic stress disorder, which of course they didn't know what that was in those days. And uh, it was really taking a, a toll on his life and his marriage. We're gonna tell the story that people know, except in the second part of it, we're gonna have the same amount of time to do the story justice, in particular to how powerful a force Cynthia was in Lou's life. He adored her, always called her his girl. So in the beginning, Cynthia is head over heels for Lou. She's this wide-eyed, kind of naive girl, and he is charming, and he's experienced, and she's immediately attracted to him, or at least what she thinks he may be like. 